The Life of George Friedrich Handel George Friedrich Handel was a German-born composer who is widely regarded as one of the greatest composers in history. He is best known for his contributions to the Baroque era of music, particularly his operas, oratorios, and instrumental compositions. Handel's music is still celebrated and performed today, over 250 years after his death, making him one of the most enduring and influential composers of all time. Handel was born on February 23, 1685, in Halle, Germany, to George Handel and Dorothea Torst. His father was a prominent barber surgeon, and his mother was the daughter of a Lutheran pastor. From a young age, Handel showed a natural talent for music and was encouraged by his family to pursue it. At the age of seven, he began taking music lessons from Friedrich Wilhelm Zakoff, the organist at the local church. Under Zakoff's tutelage, Handel learned to play the harpsichord, organ, violin, and oboe, and also received a thorough education in music theory and composition. At the age of 17, Handel enrolled at the University of Halle to study law, as his father wanted him to have a secure career. However, his passion for music led him to secretly practice and perform on the organ in the local cathedral. When his father found out, he was furious and forbade Handel from playing any musical instrument. But Handel's determination to pursue music prevailed, and he left for Hamburg in 1703 to work as a violinist and harpsichordist in the opera orchestra. During his time in Hamburg, Handel also composed his first two operas, Almira and Nero. In 1706, Handel traveled to Italy, where he spent the next three years studying and composing music. It was during this time that he wrote some of his most famous works, including the Dixit Dominus and the Gloria, both of which were heavily influenced by Italian Baroque music. Handel also became acquainted with some of the most prominent composers of the time, such as Arcangelo Corelli and Alessandro Scarlatti, who would have a lasting impact on his musical style. In 1710, Handel returned to Germany and was appointed as the court composer to the Elector of Hanover, who would later become King George I of England. However, Handel's desire to work in the opera world led him to move to London in 1712, where he quickly became a sensation. He composed numerous operas, including Rinaldo, Giulio Césaire, and Circe, which were all well received by the public and cemented his reputation as a master composer. In 1727, Handel became a naturalized British citizen and was appointed as the master of the king's music by King George II. He also received a generous yearly income from the royal family, which allowed him to focus on composing without financial worries. During this time, Handel composed some of his most famous works, including the water music and the music for the royal fireworks. Despite his success in the opera world, Handel's interest in composing oratorios grew. Oratorios were religious works that were performed without costumes or staging, making them more accessible to a wider audience. In 1732, Handel composed his first oratorio, Esther, which was followed by Saul, Israel in Egypt, and his most famous work, Messiah. Messiah was first performed in Dublin in 1742 and was an instant success, with audiences rising to their feet during the famous Hallelujah Chorus. In the later years of his life, Handel's health began to decline and he suffered from cataracts, which greatly affected his eyesight. Despite this, he continued to compose, and in 1751, he completed his last and perhaps most significant work, Theodora. Unfortunately, the oratorio was not well received at the time, and Handel's declining health and financial troubles led him to suffer a stroke in 1753. He passed away on April 14, 1759, 
at the age of 74, and was buried in Westminster Abbey in London. Handel's legacy lives on through his music, which continues to be performed and celebrated to this day. His works have influenced countless composers, including Mozart and Beethoven, and his oratorio, Messiah, remains one of the most beloved and frequently performed works in the classical music repertoire. Handel's ability to blend German, Italian, and English musical styles has solidified his place as one of the most versatile and innovative composers in history. In conclusion, George Friedrich Handel was a prodigious composer whose music has stood the test of time. His unique blend of German, Italian, and English styles, as well as his mastery of both opera and oratorio, have cemented his place as one of the most versatile and influential composers in history. Handel's contributions to the Baroque era and his enduring musical legacy continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world.